<laughs> Ooh, hey guys, hey. Thought I'd make a, a quick video, but really an update on. I think uh, uh, a couple of videos back, I, I, I talked about me starting on this vitamin regimen because of, uh, I remembered this book that I bought. Ooh, it was back in the 90s. Late 90s, about shed 10 years in 10 weeks. And I actually took these vitamins and, and did what, you know, what the book said. But I didn't do the recipes, but I took the vitamins and it actually took 10 years of my life. The, uh, the insurance company gave me my money back because I was 45 and the blood work said I was blood work said I was 35. So anyway, I started back on this vitamin regimen and I the MS makes me have vertigo sometimes. And this particular time, I've had vertigo for almost 2 years. And I had to do the exercises and take the medication. And then they look at your ears and, and try to get these little uh, get eardrums, get them back in balance. And none of that stuff worked. I mean, nothing. And to have vertigo for almost two years is like, wow. So I, I this is like probably maybe 10 days of taking these vitamins and I I just I don't know what day the vertigo left but my friend and I were sitting here talking and usually when I roll over to get up if I'm if I'm lying in the bed and I get up I have to hold on to something to steady myself and he was saying oh you jump right up and then I said, oh, I did. And I, I said, oh, my God, the vertigo is gone. So it, <laughs> I am really encouraged with these vitamins. But I was just going to tell you what they are, a list of them. The vitamins, you take vitamin C, 250, not 200, 2,500 milligrams. The vitamin E. 800 IU daily, the ginkgo biloba, 600 milligrams, uh, omega-3, 1,000 milligrams, you'll take chromium picolinate, a lot of people don't know about that, but it's a good um, mineral, it's chromium picolinate, and I take 100 micrograms a day you got the coenzymes q10 30 milligrams lipoic acid potassium magnesium dhea and creatine now i'm not taking the creatine haven't started that yet but just those few vitamins that i mentioned has gotten rid of this vertigo when the doctors I've seen ear specialists and they were trying to get me to do this I forgot what the Epley maneuver where you lay on the table and you roll your head left and right you're actually trying to get these the balance in your eardrum you're trying to get that positioned again and none of that seemed to no it didn't it didn't no seem it did not work but these <laughs> these vitamin vitamins work so i'm just i'm speechless that's why i just you know decided to make this quick video but and man and i'm gonna stick with this because i'll go back next year because i've already did my yearly blood work. I did that in January. So it'll be January again before they do, uh, you know, the blood work again. But I know my blood work will show 
not that it's showing up bad, but the cholesterol is um, a little off. But other than that, I'm doing okay. And then I found out about oh, it's a it's a tank, a hydrogen tank. I forgot what you call it. But uh, people with MS can go inside, and people who have damage from neuropathy, diabetes and stuff, they go into this tank, and it's like a big oxygen tank. Oxygen therapy is what it's called. And you could, you could do that, and it will help your, your blood vessels to get more oxygen. And they said it's good for MS patients, so... I left a message with a doctor today, and they're going to call me back to see if I can get in that clinic. But I might have to get re referred from my neurologist. I don't know. Most, I don't know. I'm Yeah, your regular your GP, I might have to get a referral from them. But I'm going to try that since I do have a lot of inflamed nerves and that's what's causing all the nerve pain so but that is the vitamins that I mean you people is you know got these chronic issues and illnesses and stuff just plain regular vitamins and vitamin D I hope I said vitamin D because when you have MS you do have um some vitamin D issues and since, uh, since it's summertime, I mean, wintertime, you don't have uh, a lot of vitamin D. I didn't say vitamin D. I don't even, yeah, vitamin D. Because I take uh, 7,000 milligrams of that vitamin D. I was on an infusion, but I got got the vitamin D levels up, but I still have to take the over-counter. And yeah, vitamin D is, is on that list, too. I don't know why I forgot about that. But... I am really, I mean, the vertigo, the vertigo is gone, man. But I'll keep giving updates about this. And But uh, potassium, magnesium, yeah, I said that. Okay. But anyway, this, this is just an update on the vitamin things, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.